while I saw the Unicorn, I mean Transformers fans, join us here and today we're reviewing the Transformers, Warf, Cytrons, Kingdoms, Leader Class, Galvatron. Now this version, he's from the, the Kingdom line that was from Series 2. I think it's Series 2 or Series 3. I don't know, I might be correct. So here's Galvatron. He is the leader of Septicon. Now, in case you know, you haven't seen Transformers the movie in 1986. He is a former of the leader, Megatron, after he got his butt kicked by Optimus. Until he gets his, until he gets his picked up by a Unicron, he gets reformation and gives name Galvatron. So yeah, he's the main villain from the Transformers the movie. So here is Galvatron in his futuristic tank mode. Now, I had no idea of this tank mode. This futuristic Cybertron tank. It looks pretty accurate, just like the movie Counterpart. G1 accurate. Now, I don't have the Titan Returns of the Galvatron. We saw a picture, and he looks pretty atrocious. The robot's fine, but the vehicle mode, it looks atrocious. This one got pretty accurate. Now, this version, he's a keen line with this one. Now, for weapons, as I mentioned, taking this off, let's go a little pig here. It comes with two guns or blaster. Kind of looks like a Cybertron in ships. Now this is a what's from the reminds me from Transformers the movies. Looks pretty detail accurate. Now the one it goes in. Now it has a little connect here. It goes connect to connect to looks like this. Yeah, that was kind of bizarre guns. That's cool if you. His other surgery, it comes with the Shang of Matrix. Now this is he wears in the movie where he, after Ultraman, tries to unleash on the Matrix. is like, open, uh, not gonna cause it. So yeah, it looks nice, the detail of this Matrix. Now, sadly, you, it's just sculpted, you cannot remove. One thing I did not like, his chains are made of plastic, hard plastic. So look at that, I wear it. As far as Galatron, his tank looks pretty accurate. Has a little roll here, has a little treadmill. Down the bottom, his little robot junks. I like it as a cannon, orange cannon, who's just a translucent plastic. So, overall, I think it's a pretty nice little details. He is pretty large vehicle. Now, that quick size comparison here's the sweep or scourge, what do you want to call it? What's okay to that next review layer? So, overall, same vehicle size. Now, the transform to Galvatron. First, to do this, remove his cannons. First, to take this weapons off. Oh! Gives a connect here. Here we got Galvatron's cannon. Now, what we do is take. Now, let's take this little, this little tag. Now take this little tank here. Now of course you want to do that. Let's take one peg is connect. Now I can see. I'm gonna start connect on peg here. Now see that slide connected. You can see that slide connected there's peg. And it goes in there. Exactly the same. Now next what we do is start first thing is take this upper body. You can see there's Galatron's head. Oops. Right. Dang it. Let's connect here. Now next to do is to on the tags here. Do it exactly the same here as this. 
you know, unpack and sold it. Now do the exact same. Oops, sorry about that. Now, come on, dang it. Now unpack this. Oh, now it's starting to snap the piece. And oh, forgot to mention. I'm back. I guess I can't come in. So, yeah. Okay. So, here is Galatron in his robo mode. Sorry, I can't. <laughs> now, the figure out the Galatron, he looks just like he did how he looks the anime Sears looks from G1 Sears. And he also did appear in Transfer Kingdom or War for Siren to Netflix. Now, he's the main villain, along with Nemesis Prime, who was also from Ultra Dimension, which I won't spoil it, but holy crap, I didn't see that coming. Now, as a weapon, he comes with. Fusion Cannon, or Galvatron's Cannon, what do you want to call it? Now it goes, can connect to look like this. So there you go. Now you have Galvatron with his iconic Fusion Cannons. Now this figure is, looks pretty accurate in itself. Now this figure is stands about... This figure stands about 7.5 inches. He looks pretty taller but that. Now here is next to the hot rod. Here is size comparison. Here is hot rod. Now he looks pretty sized though. Now in a movie he should be shorter than hot rod. I have no idea. Here is next to Optimus Prime. He's a little bit taller than the taller's. And here is next to Megatron. This is before the actor his transformation nips. The head sculpt for Galvatron, he looks just like he did in the movie Accurate. And the turn of colors. I like his eyes are red. He's got a little helmet. I like the Septicon logo. It has nice red texture. One thing I complained was I didn't like. It has a weird battle damage skin. Scratch of paint. Looks like a battle damage. Which is kind of disappointment. Now there was a variant. Now there is a variant for Galvatron. There is a Transformer Legacy of Leader Class Galvatron. This thing is the same mold. Except his shoulders are different. And the other one has no battle damage. If you want to make the regular Galvatron. Which is no battle damage. I think that's the best way to show us. Some... As far as the survey I mentioned before. <sighs> have the matrix I mentioned before we put on this now it's got a little connect this little see that little peg here goes a puts a wear and peg so looks like that yeah that's kind of nice was kind of stupid I wouldn't mind would have a metal chain would have customized it there was actually upgrade toys and actually custom of As for weapons, you can actually hold his guns. You can hold his blaster gun. It looks like that. Yeah, it's kind of stupid. Or you don't like the guns. Here goes connect. Right here goes a connect. Looks like that. Looks like hearing guns a backpack for this one. I wouldn't. The only complaint is that this back here. It's supposed to be taller, bigger, was not much 100% accurate. There is the RD line for Galvatron looks make more show accurate. Speaking of which, the purple was that was in the show, he's purple, but in the movie, he's more like violet, blue, purple, I guess. I guess it's violet, purple, blue, I guess. And he's, in the case now, he's voiced by Leonard Nemo from the movie. And then the TV series, he's replaced by Frank Wilker instead of Leonard Nimoy. So I guess that. 
Now, as for our articulation for Galvatron, he has head to rotate, rotate 360 degrees, it does get up and down, side to side, and his arms goes up and down, goes in and out that much. He has a bicep soul, then in the elbow, then the double elbow, he has rotate the wrists, rotate, oh, oops. For that it does have swivel waist waist rotate swivel waist that was 360 degrees it's like his horse and back goes in and out that much he has a thigh swivel then in the knee no ankle pain doesn't doesn't sign sign that much because of the transformation so that's about it galvatron's articulations so there's my review of the leader class galvatron Overall, this looks pretty cool and this looks pretty accurate. Not much says pretty looks on, not much to say this figure of Galvatron figure of leader class. He looks 100% show accurate. I really like this detail. Oh, he's missing his purple on the shin. That's my fault. It would have nice to be custom paint to this one. Speaking of paint, I really wish, I mean, if you wanted a legacy one version of Galvatron, that's the best deal. Now, Speaking of variant, I mentioned that the legacy one. Now there is a variant for Galvatron figure. Now there was a also the variant. Now there is a variant for Galvatron. There is a Transformer Generation sled of Galvatron, which is based on the Vintage toy from the original. That's kind of cool. His colors are silver instead of purple. Yeah, I didn't get them. They're kind of stupid. It looks. I mean, it wanted to be based on the Vintage toy. Yeah, I did not like. So I decided to go with this. Overall, I think Galvatron Sea is pretty cool and is, is more show accurate. You're a fan of G1 or Transformers, the movie I did. I highly recommend to check it out. Or you get the Transformer Legacy one that was saw the stores. He looks exactly the same mold, except the paint of his battle damage removed. Oh, and speaking of which, his shoulder is kind of fragile with us. He does get fixed his shoulder shoulder joint, actually apologize. So I highly recommend this one to check him out. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this one. Be sure to don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So thanks for watching and goodbye.